Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how to do a length check in C++. So let's get right into it. A length check in this tutorial is going to be us checking if the length of a string is greater than a certain value, or the length of a string is less than a certain value, and then using that to determine if our input is too long or too short, and then we return a true or a false depending on the result. So let's look at our main methods. So we've got std string user input equals Jeff. This tutorial won't be teaching you how to get user input, only how to validate it. And after that we do std c out, arrow arrow thingy, std bool alpha, arrow arrow thingy, length check, user input and 5. So don't worry about this, we're going to go over that in a second. But what is bool alpha? Well basically, in C++, a boolean is pointed out as a 1 or a 0. True and false. But we may not want that. So if we do std bool alpha, that basically will print out trues and falses, and it will say true and false as opposed to 1 and 0. It's just a bit more readable, but you don't need it. And C out is just printing stuff to the console. So let's go and define our length check. But firstly, make sure you include IO stream and string, because we'll be needing these. So this is our function. So it's bool length check std string input int size. So bool means it's going to return a true or false, true for valid, false for invalid. Length check is the name, std string input is the first parameter. If you really want to, you could do a using namespace std, so you don't have to keep typing std. However, that's generally considered not good practice, and it's better to keep stds in your code. If you want a tutorial on why it's better to include STDs in your code, leave a comment down below and I'll go over it. And the second parameter is int size, which is basically going to be the length we're going to be checking against. And inside we're doing one line of code, so return is going to return a true or a false to whatever we call the function. Input.length is going to get the length of the input, so if input was equal to Jeff, this would become a 4. And then we'd be checking if 4 is greater than whatever the size is. So if the size is 5, we'll be checking if 4 is greater than 5. 4 is not greater than 5, so this returns a false. But let's say we had a string that was 6 characters long. We would be checking if 6 is greater than 4. Since 6 is greater than 4, we return a true. Let's say the string was 5 characters long. Well, input.length would be 5, and we would be checking if 5 is greater than 5. Since 5 is not greater than 5, it returns a false. But then we could do it this way around instead, and do a less than check. So then we could do Jeff, so it would be 4, and we're checking if 4 is less than 5. 4 is less than 5, so this becomes a true. We'll put this back to a greater than check though, but you can do whatever you want. So we're going to hit save, and then hit play. And it says false, because Jeff is not greater than 5 characters long. But if we put Jeffy with an IE, which is 6 characters long, it becomes true, because 6 characters is greater than 4 characters. And if we did Jeff with a Y, so it's 5, well, it says false. So that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.